That, guys, was Xerx. If you guys want to follow him on Twitter. I forgot what his Twitter is, but you should look him up. <laughs> Xerx was taken. Oh, yeah, 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 because Xerx was <laughs> Oh, how's it going, guys? It's Hyperion back here on the mic. How's it going, Clario? It's doing great, doing great. All yeah. right, so what does it look like? We got winner's semis here, Ven versus Z. It's actually loser semis. Loser semis, my bad. That's all I do. Yeah, loser semis. But yeah, we have Ven versus Z. Who actually... Oh, right, right, right. it was Snoop who sent Ven into losers today. Oh, yeah, it was earlier today. Yeah, That's and then good stuff. Z was sent down to losers by Edgar. Oh, so this is a rematch. Is it? I don't, I don't know if they used to have played today. I have no idea. Anyway, All so right. 66, 86 to 62 goes for Thunder. Uh, oh. Reflect, but Thunder actually got reflected, so he got some up, misses oh. the forward smash. Just barely, though. Yeah, it was a good yeah. attempt. Rolling out of the way there. Tries Force to go, <laughs> tries to run off back air. Used the neutral B into down smash. Mm -hmm. Got 108 percent so far, Ooh. and got the forward smash. Yeah, he just drops his shield. He thought he blocked it, but. It was still traveling towards him, so he just dropped shield early. Yeah. A 75% on Z, and now he's in a good percentage to try and get some forward air strings. Misses the forward air, unfortunately, and get off, sent off stage. And there are two frame from Ric and Ricardo follow up, taking off that first off. Yeah, that Ricardo has so many options, especially as an edge guard tool. If you can get that two frame, it's going to hit and it's going to do so much damage and so much knockback and launch, like you saw right there, right, right, right. taking the song. Especially Stop. since it was like a fully charged Ricardo as well. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty much the only time when Zelda can act before the night comes out. Right. So, watch out for that. Yeah, definitely be careful with that. And Ven knows how to use it effectively as well. So, we got a pretty even game still so far. 57% versus 38. Right. Since the night the wrong way, but Z wasn't in a good position to take... Advantage of that, so just right. holds center and gets advantage again. This right. is the forward smash. Mm -hmm. up he was a little far. Dropped down through the platform in the back air. It was actually a really good movement. Yeah, the, those then. twinkle toes are very strong. And if you get the sweet spot in that, it'll kill very early, like we saw there. Right. So Ven has, again, another sizable lead that he can use to potentially close out the stock if he wants to play aggressive enough. But also... He's been known to just let Ricardo do its work, let Did Inspire do its own work. That shield is looking so tiny. Right. But he manages to down smash and get Ben off of him. Right. His forward, forward shield smash. should be back by now, so. Yeah, forward smash not connecting. I mean, it's always funny to see, and it's always nice to see the shield go low. Mm -hmm. But it's very infrequent that we get a shield break. Right, right, right. It's just the, uh, I mean... Pikachu is a pretty small character, so even if the shield is down, like it might be a little hard for Ven to go for like shield poke, like forward or back airs. Yep. Oh, nice fadeaway. Not getting hit by that forward smash, but it's still a good option for him um, mm -hmm. against characters who are taller. That almost two frame. Yeah, but I mean the invincibility at 133% is not a lot, and that down smash will take it. 65% on Z just needs a couple good combo strings to bring this back. He really needs to hold his center here because if Ven manages to catch him near one of the sides and lands a good forward air back air. Yeah. Actually, in the center of the stage might be a little iffy now, too. Um, tries to go for a shield break there. Nairo's love puts him at 96%. Din's fire at full charge actually finishing off the stock. Yeah, and I mean, Pikachu's a pretty light character. That that makes sense. Yeah. Do you know, actually, if Din's fire gets stronger, the further it goes? Or yeah, it, like, the stronger that it goes and the faster that it, that it goes, the more damage that it does. And I think it's like you have your, your normal Din's Fire and then if it's fully charged, it's like 120% like more gotcha. damage and knockback than it was if it was just the normal, like the basic one that it just did. Like all of Zelda's moves are Zelda's side B and down B at least. You charge them up, they fair deal right. more damage. Okay, fair enough. So we are going to go to game number two. We are going to go with Castle Siege with the not... I. I wouldn't say weird platforms, but just the... It, it's pretty weird. The weird... <laughs> this the, is the, the weirdest stage, probably. The interesting platform angles. It is definitely the the outlier of the group, but it's also one of those interesting stages where you have that high ground that if you have it, it puts the opponent into a position where you have to respect just how high you are. Like, that ledge, that ramp going up mm -hmm. can do a lot of damage, especially to someone like like Ven, whose Ricardo might not go all the way through. I don't know if it actually goes. But right now, that doesn't really matter. 
then using the down smash, or the, I'm sorry, the back air to take the stock. All right. So yeah, what it looked like, Ricardo didn't follow the slope. He no. follows the slope when he's going from down to up, but not, or I'm sorry, go from, yeah, down to up, but not up to down. Mm. It looks like. Which would make sense. Right, gets there. the up grab. Throw. Up throw. Doesn't opt to try to for the thunder. Ooh, follows him really deep off stage. Really good forward air. Takes off the stock at 50. Yeah, Z has been known and does really well taking those risks off stage. Uh, soft spot of back air connecting. <laughs> Dash attack. Good Can't punish. Attack. 13%. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We make it back. Uh, we've yeah, yeah, we've got a really good recovery. We're fine. Pikachu's pretty good at getting back on the stage. And Ricardo was in play. Didn't hit anything. Right now, Z is playing really aggressively um, off stage, Try to make up the deficit that he has here. About yeah. 50%. Well, I mean, he knows that he's at a disadvantage, right. and so you see him go for those risky options, try to go for those down Bs, try to get the spike. But also, when Ven overcommits to a move, you see him immediately capitalize on it and close the percent gap, only 15%. Right. But he probably, you know, Castle Siege is a very small stage, so I think Z's game plan for counterpicking this was actually just to uh, try and choke out, like, Ven, give him, the, like, no room to, like, really run away and set up. Because, like, even if they're across the stage, you know, like, one up B could, like, close the gap. Right, but an unfortunate unsafe down smash will get grabbed and back throwed. Pikachu is now on his last stock. 113% yeah, on Zelda. Down smash on Z has been working pretty well, so... For it to finally be punished properly, I think he might throw it out a little less. Mm -hmm. Aru's love gets 70% on Z from that one jolt. That's incredible. Oh, Ricardo. Oh. Headless Ricardo, not, not taking it. Both going for the same thing, trying to go for a smash attack. Mm -hmm. Run back then into. gets it that time. He has a double jump, so he should be fine. Yeah. Mistimes the meaty. Oh, <laughs> tries to... Yeah, he was just putting the fear into him. Yeah, just, just waited a little bit too long. Up he connects, doesn't take it yet, but that Ricardo will not. Yeah, it was very, it's very close right now. A lot of options, though, that they can do right now will probably kill. It's a really unfortunate, too, because, you know, Ben still has two stocks. This is, right. He needs to try and finish this stock off quickly and then use some... Mm, er, eh, it's not going to happen that time. The back air is going to take it. Ven will lead the set 2-0. Going right. into game number three. I mean, Z has made the reverse 3-0s before. Right. He can make it happen. Mm -hmm. Just has to find his way in through Ricardo, through the, the Din's Fire, and right. take the take the games. But we'll see what his counter pick is. I think I mentioned it back at Blast Zone. I'm not sure if people were there, but like I said, the Phantom Knight has three, er, five levels of charge. Um... And the ways that Ben varies it is the way that he gets most of his damage from. So like you saw in the last game uh, that he just released it at like level one, like I think three times in a row, and punched like Pikachu off him for about like I don't know a total of like 21%. Not to mention like stage advantage again. Mm -hmm. So, so we are gonna go to Yoshi's story, and Z's gonna switch to Fox. I don't Fox. I know that he plays it, but I haven't really seen him play it on stream yet. It has a lot of really good frame data. Maybe a lot of potential to get some combos up in the air, but mm -hmm. I feel still feel like the same position is in. He still has to find his way into Ven's wall. He right, has right, to right. find his way, get the grab, to get his aerial conversions, and, you know, potentially take the game. But I don't know how he's going to be able to make that happen. I mean, he does have good frame data, like you said. Uh, it gets up into Ricardo. Very close. Mixes up the recovery of up B instead of side B. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. 56 to 94, though. He probably... Let's see. What do I think about this stage like? I think Just that it's, uh, it's weird. But the stage actually helping out Ven in that situation, making yeah. it to where Fox couldn't grab Zelda, and Ven was able to respond to that with a punish of his own, mm. and taking the stock, only 70% on her first... I'm not sure what Ven banned, but this stage also has the same thing like Smashville, like I was talking earlier. Um, this platform in the middle creates a little house that lets zoners like, be able to hide in it because mm -hmm. it's hard to approach from the top. 
Well, you just saw it working well out for Z there. He used that platform to extend his up air juggle. Very that hard. shield looking very low after that up smash. Ricardo was in play, but didn't hit anything. Z rolled back in. I'd like to see maybe Ven adapt to that and realize that Z is doing a lot of rolling to get oh, back on the stage. A, that was an up smash. Yeah, I think it was just a misinput there. Oh, but Akash isn't jumping a, mm -hmm. a wall of back airs. We take that. I also like, I think he picked this character because of Shine, honestly. Um, if he catches Ben off guard and it's not expecting the Shine to reflect Ricardo back at a crucial moment, it's really important for Z not to use it right now. Ooh, in the that. spike he'll, into he'll the forward it. smash. It's important for him not to use it early on to uh, let Ben know what the plan is. Yeah, so it preserves it as a kill move option later down the line. Right. But right now, Fox has got to find his way in. Shield poke. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's enough shield poke to get him off so that we could get back to the game at hand. 126% on Fox. Right. Tries to go for a back throw there. Up tilt puts him in the mm. air. All right. And Ben just needs one hit. If he gets one grab, it's over. If he gets uh, aerial, pretty much any aerial, it's Shouldn't over. It shine spike? That's funny. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, up air. Oh, but oh, it trades. No. The first hit of up air trades with back air, finishing off his stock, unfortunately. All right, so Push. Z oh, is potentially on his last stock of his tournament run here. Has to win this one if he wants a chance at going into losers finals versus Edgar. All right. Of B connecting, only hitting nine percent. Ven's now off stage. For certain characters, also this is a good stage for Fox. His down tilt will get angled downwards if he's on the slope. Um, for characters who have to snap to the ledge to recover. They're giving him a lot more consistent up or er, two frames rather. But unfortunately, ah. Ben can also just choose not to snap to the ledge and explode basically, hitting Z away for damage. He's going for a lot of these um, there's random up smashes. But right. Unfortunately, Ben is just holding a shield most of the time and waiting for him to approach. And the thing, the difference between Z and Ven is, and their characters, is that Ven was able to do that forward smash and not get punished. Mm. Z did his forward smash, or did his up smash and got punished. Oh. And gets the spike. Ven just had complete control. Yeah, that was rough. I don't particularly agree with the stage selection, but I can see what he was going for. Well, and I mean, it did kind of possibly help with the aerial combos had he gotten them, but just was never in a position to 